Welcome to Incom Session with Andreas, co-founder and CTO of Hybrid Cloud Storage Provider Nasuni, and a very own general partner, Steve. Now, let's talk unstructured data and how that can create real issues when recovering from a ransomware attack. Why is rants the scale of the problem so much bigger with unstructured data versus structured data? Everything that touches unstructured data is bigger, including ransomware. But everything is bigger. You know, if you look at where the big data footprint in an organization is, it's never the database. It really is the files, the unstructured data that are the majority of the footprint in storage. The most horrible thing about ransomware is that they're not trying to steal the data. They're not trying to move the data out of their organization. If you were trying to move the files out of an organization, that could take a very long time and it would be easy to detect because you are moving so much data out of a company. You know, in a company where they have a petabyte, it's probably 80, 90% of that is unstructured file data. And moving, you know, 800 terabytes out of a network is very hard and very slow. Ransomware gets, a, gets around that problem by not moving the data. It encrypts the data in the location where the data is stored and makes that data, therefore, unavailable to the people inside the organization unless you pay the ransomware attackers to give you the key to unencrypt the data. And it is the fact that there's so much data that makes the, both the, the sort of the efficiency of the ransomware attack so good because you don't have to move the data, you're just encrypting data, but also makes the recovery operation take a very long time. And that is what, what's really horrific. Like when you get attacked, you still believe you have your backups, you think you're in good shape. And once you start a recovery process, you realize that it's going to take a really long time to recover, you know, hundreds of terabytes, uh, potentially and get your file servers back to being operational. And that's when you have to make a decision as to whether you're gonna take that outage, which could be weeks, or pay the ransomware.